it's a well-known fact that most murders are carried out by someone you know. Whether that's a partner, someone in your friendship circle, or someone you work with or employ. When Betsy Ball and her husband David hired a farmhand to work on their property, they had no idea that this stark reality was about to destroy their lives in the most shocking way, leaving one of them dead. On February the 29th, 2012, David returned to the couple's home in Gallia County, Ohio, after working a double shift at the local power plant. When he entered the garage, he noticed something unusual. Items were misplaced, and there were scratches on his wife's vehicle. He saw her cell phone and glasses on the floorboard. David then searched the house, but his wife was nowhere to be found. He decided to report her missing, prompting a search by law enforcement officers. The next day, on March the 1st, police officials said they received a tip-off that led them to a field near Piper Road, where they found Betsy's body. The location was about six miles from her home. Betsy was found naked from the waist down. Officers at the scene noticed she had bruises on her face and arms, ligature marks on her neck and wrists, and, horrifically, tire tracks on her jaw and upper body. It appeared she had been run over by a vehicle, specifically a pickup truck. Shortly before or after this, gasoline was poured on her body. An autopsy revealed that the 67-year-old had been raped and strangled to death at her home before her body was mutilated and discarded. Nearly two weeks later, on March the 13th, Lee Hawkins, who was 47 years old at the time and an employee of Betsy's, was arrested after police officials uncovered that the tire tracks on his Ford F-150 pickup matched those in the field. His fingerprints and DNA were also found at the crime scene. Hawkins, who initially told investigators that he didn't know anything about Betsy's disappearance or murder, was booked into a county jail where he was held on a $1 million bond. Betsy and her husband had known Hawkins for about 20 years, and they would occasionally hire him to work on their property as a farmhand. Hawkins was arraigned at the Gallia County Common Pleas Court, where he pleaded not guilty. However, following a six-day trial in October 2012, a jury found him guilty of aggravated murder tampering with evidence, and the gross abuse of a corpse. Where is Lee Hawkins now? Hawkins was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for the aggravated murder charge. He received 36 months for tampering with evidence. In March 2014, Hawkins filed an appeal and claimed that the trial court had abused its discretion when it sentenced him because he had lived a primarily law-abiding life. He went on to say that he was a quiet, hard-working, decent person, and that his actions against the victim were an aberration from his normal, quiet self. Despite his claim, the 4th District Court of Appeals upheld his sentence. He is currently housed at the Pickaway Correctional Institution in Orient, Ohio. You can find out more about this case in our article on dailycrime.com, which is linked in the show notes. The case is also profiled in depth in the Investigation Discovery episode of Murder in the Heartland, Field of Bad Dreams, which was slated to have a premiere date of Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about crimes like this.